Hey, what's up guys? Austin here, back with another episode of Study the Greats. And in this one, we're going to be breaking down what I consider to be the most epic Steve Gadlick of all time, and that is the one you just saw from the Zildjian Day performance in 84. It's just one of those moments in drum history where everyone is just kind of caught off guard, like, what the hell was that? Right? So uh, let's go to the computer, we'll transcribe it out, and we'll see if we can break it down. All right, cool. So this is Steve Gadd at the Zildjian Day in 84. So if you've seen this video before, I'm sure this section probably jumped out to you a little bit. So let's go ahead and watch it and we'll see what he's doing. Mm. Damn. Now that's pretty epic, right? With the crowd in the background and everything. Okay, so this is the transcription, and this was um, originally transcribed by Terry Branham over on Drummer World like a really long time ago, so I just want to make sure I give them credit for that, but I still wanted to go ahead and make this video lesson about it anyways. So I'll go ahead and play the, um, the first lick uh, here so we can see what that sounds like. All right, it goes by pretty quick. Okay, and then the variation at the end is this one here. All right, cool. So those are the uh, transcriptions. So let's go to the kit. We'll break this thing down pretty slow and we'll see how it works. All right, guys, so we'll start off pretty slow and just work this thing up to speed and I'll put the transcription at the bottom so you can follow along. All right, cool, so that's the main lick. So now we'll go to the variation and uh, work that up to speed so we can see what that sounds like. All right, so there's two things about the slick that are extremely challenging. The first one, obviously, is the speed that he plays it at. So doing the doubles on the hi-hat, the cross stick, and the kick um, is extremely challenging, especially the uh, cross stick doubles. That's not really something I do a lot, so I had to practice a lot just to build that up enough to pull off this lesson. So the speed is very difficult, <clears throat> and the other thing that's difficult is getting the dynamics and the feel right. You know, any drummer can technically play these notes but only Steve Gadd can make it have the impact that it does like when he plays it in that solo right so whatever that thing is that he has that other drummers don't it's kind of tough to 
put into words. Um, the term that keeps coming to mind for me is dynamic expression, which is like an artistic quality that you can't really quantify, but it's something I would like to cultivate more of in my own playing. And I think most of us drummers should. So I guess that's the main takeaway from this lesson is whatever you play, play it with dynamics and expression and make it have an impact on the audience, right? So easier said than done. But um, now I'm going to try to play it in context uh, like he does in the solo. So let's see how I do. All right, guys, so before I let you go, I just want to test out a new idea I've been thinking about for a while, and that is allowing you guys to vote on who you want to see in the next episode. So if you click on the little eye over here in the corner, you'll see a drop-down list of three drummers, and you can pick uh, who you want to see the most in the next episode. So I think this can be like a cool way for you guys to interact with the channel and kind of help me steer the episodes where you guys want them to go. So it's just an idea. Let's try it out and see how it works. Also, uh, if you guys want to be super awesome and support the channel, uh, you could also do that from over here through the fan funding option. So of course you don't have to, but if you did decide to do that, it would help me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. But um, yeah, go ahead and vote. Uh, we'll see how it works. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.